Hi, my name's Andy Gaunt. I'm Deputy Head here at Green Gates Primary School. I've been teaching for 13 years and this summer was asked to start teaching French to my Year 3 class. This was quite a daunting prospect considering I dropped French at a very young age. And then, j'habite en France. What do you think that means? Ethan! I live in France. Brilliant, oh. Ethan. Is that good? Well done. I've had a very limited language um, history at school. Um, at primary, sorry, primary school, we covered some French in Year 6 and about all I can remember really about that is reading a comic that came through monthly. So consequently, when I heard we were having training as a whole school on French last year, while I probably fooled around a bit, to be perfectly honest, to hide my lack of knowledge and um, fear of teaching the subject, to be perfectly honest. The fact that I've now got to teach it, I find quite daunting, because I've got absolutely no confidence in my ability to speak it. It's going to take a lot of swatting up on my behalf to actually teach the subject, because you've got to be one step ahead of the children, and at the moment I don't feel I am. But I've got a trick up my sleeve. This afternoon, we're going to learn a little bit of French. And we've got a visitor to come and see us. Now, the reason I've invited somebody in is because I'm not very good at French. Mrs Mann's not very good at French. And as far as I know, you're not very good at French because you haven't done a lot of it. Shh. You might know Colin out. You might know one or two words. But hopefully you're going to learn a whole lot more over the next few weeks. You just sit there quietly. If, you're not, if you don't keep quiet, you might not come in. Hi, this is Pierre, my secret weapon for teaching French this year. Pierre. He's very shy. Mm -hmm. Very shy. Let me sit down so you can say hello to you. Shy. Bonjour. Will you say that again, Pierre? Oui. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Je m'appelle Pierre. Andy's recently switched year groups from teaching the older children and just gone into year three where we're launching the MFL. And I know that having no background in languages at all, he was a little anxious about teaching the session. So I did sort of offer my services as the coordinator to see if I could inspire him with a little bit more confidence, help him with his pronunciation. Right, so that was really place. why we felt we just needed a little bit of extra support, a bit on one-on-one. -on -one. And I am prepared to do that for, you know, whichever teachers need a bit of extra support. I don't know whether you noticed, but when we had the training, I wasn't the most confident. And I usually hide that by being daft. Mm. But so you're feeling you want a little bit of help? Yeah, I mean, pronunciation. Um, I mean, I've been talking to my wife over the ho holidays and it's mm -hmm. been French in a broad Yorkshire accent. So, yeah, I, mean, I was looking through it and yeah. we've got these classroom <laughs> objects to do later on in this mm -hmm. half term. I mean, I'm quite happy with Je m'appelle and Savard mm -hmm. and Bonjour and Un de toi, but des de futures... Oh, des feutres. Des so feutres felt it pens. So you're wanting... That's sort of in a French accent. Is that what yeah. you would expect me to speak it like? Well, as, as, as best as, as best I possibly as can. can. So Do go on then, try it de, again. De feutre. De feutre. I'm going to introduce Pierre. Pierre's going to sit there talking to the children and he's mm -hmm. going to point out where he lived. Um, and then we'll go into some basic greetings possibly with I him. I bet quite a few children have been to France as well, won't they? So Hopefully, we'll maybe yeah. ask them and perhaps bring some photographs, things like that. Having a, a teacher in school that is a specific coordinator to a specific subject is really useful in primary schools. We are jack of all trades in terms of our education. In terms of our education background, we have to teach all 10, 12 subjects. And we can't be experts in all of them. And having Juliana, who speaks French, who's also a member of the senior management team, so has got that sort of strength to push the subject on as an up-and-coming new subject, is a real plus. Well, as I said, pronunciation is probably my biggest concern when it comes mm. to the teaching. So, I'd like you to come in and observe yeah. when I do the introduction lesson with Pierre. The reason I wanted to go through this, I want you to come in and um, mm. observe me this week and help me with the pronunciation is because I've been the fool that's volunteered for our French day to stand up in front of all the children and all the staff with Pierre the puppet and introduce our French assembly that morning. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I'm thinking Pierre the Puppet ought to teach the children a simple French 
song or rhyme or chant. So that's why I'm asking for your help, please, over the next six weeks, yeah, Juliana. That's fine. So when Pierre the Puppet is in action then in your classroom on Thursday, mm -hmm. if I come in and see how you're going with your pronunciation yeah. and see if you can feel confident. <laughs> Bonjour, ça va? Bonjour. Je m'appelle Pierre. That was a bit funny. What did he say then? Pierre, yeah, will you do me a favour? I've forgotten to do the register with the with um, Mrs. Tisa coming to see me. I've forgotten to do the register. Will you do it for me? We. Oui? So, shall we have a go at doing it in French, everybody? Yeah. Who can tell me what you think we ought to say, Sarah? What do you think we ought to say? Goodness me, you're better than I am there. I would recommend introducing French in much more in that sort of drip feed way because I think it, it works. It's not putting a lot of pressure on teachers who are say very very low level language skills and are feeling quite anxious and nervous about the whole situation but if they know that this week I've only got to say bonjour, ça va, I've only got to say un, deux, trois, you know I can do that, I feel okay with that and we can consolidate with the register, we can do lots of other activities counting, yeah I can manage that and I think that's that will work and I think you'll get the confidence and the commitment of the staff if you're doing that. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Did you enjoy that Pierre? He did. See you next week. Oui. So I want us to really work on over the next few days saying hello and goodbye in French. Do you think we can do that? Yeah. Do you think we can do it year three? Yeah. Well, that's better. Thanks ever so much for letting me come in. No I really problem. enjoyed that. I thought the use of Pierre was inspired. <laughs> oh, I actually find it quite difficult. I found I was um, struggling to actually, I'm thinking, I'm not moving his mouth as I'm speaking here. To actually speak and control okay. is quite difficult, you know. I don't think, the ch I think the children were just absolutely fascinated. They were. Yeah, they were. Because I was sitting as you came through that door and the faces were, <gasps> who's coming? They were absolutely thrilled to bits with yeah. it. I thought that was inspired. I mean, did you feel quite happy with the French that you used? Yeah, I seemed quite happy. Yeah, it seemed okay, yeah. yeah. Bonjour, je m'appelle Pierre. He's introducing himself to you. What do you think he might be saying? My name is Pierre. Wow, have you done some French before? Yes, Pierre's really happy that you've said that. I think the trouble was, I wanted Pierre to be as realistic as possible. Mm. And that's why I felt I needed more French myself. Even though the children weren't doing it, I felt I wished he could have yeah, jabbered on a mean. bit more in yeah, French. Yeah, so you just get that feel of it. Just oh, somebody's get, speaking yeah, a different language. Um, it's rav, hard though, isn't it? Ravage. When you've only got yeah, a limited number of phrases. Yeah. You know, but you could actually move on to the bonjour, je m'appelle and do a little bit of moving around. That actually, and I, don't know, that I, I don't know whether that might inspire them a bit more. If they can say two or three, they can do yeah. a little role play then, rather than just... Yeah, they can. Rather than just wrote learning un deux trois or mm. bonjour. They need some hands-on, some action, if they can, they? Yeah, if they can go yeah. up to each other and say, je m'appelle, j'habite, um, yeah. age, you know, that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, I mean, that'll be... come, won't it? I think you need a bit of consolidation on, you know, what they've done so far. But it was lovely to see that everybody Wanted to go. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Anybody else like to shake his hand? So who who now, Pierre? How about that's Jade? Other hand. Bonjour, Jade. Bonjour, Pierre. Very good. Pierre's really happy, thinks you're doing really well. So we've got the French day to think about now, haven't we? About are we going to launch Pierre onto the rest of the school? Yeah, I was thinking about this in terms of me singing, because you know how much I enjoy singing mm. within the school. I thought about, um, we're going to do Frere Jacques, hopefully. But I was also thinking about teaching to my class beforehand. That might be a good idea. And right. then I can hide behind them and Pierre can sing with them. Um, and they can Pierre can then sing, introduce Pierre to the rest of uh, rest of the school, mm -hmm. um, 
and, and teach them prayer jacka that way. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. That'd be better then, won't it, than you having to teach every single line from scratch. Yes. Because at least you've got a body of people that know that and can, can teach it in a sort of echo fashion, couldn't yeah. they, to the rest of the school. Yeah. OK, we're going to play a game that you may have played known as Whale, Shark, Dolphin. Instead of saying Whale, Shark, Dolphin, Pierre is going to say Le Crayon, La Regla, La Gomme. And that person gets up and runs around the circle and back to their starting position. Le crayon. Le crayon. Go, go. A few weeks into this term now, um, I'm feeling a lot more confident teaching French. Um, it's working speaking to Julianne on a regular basis and through staff meetings to make sure I'm working on my pronunciation. Uh, having got Pierre out of the way in the first overall, oh, we've got Pierre, the sort of, the children are still responding to him. They still laugh and joke and, and like the way he responds to them. <laughs> Use your ears and listen to what Pierre saying. I'm quite surprised how much it takes away from me doing the teaching, having Pierre there. Pierre's really been a big asset to the teaching of French for me now. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. I'm getting happy with the pronunciation and... Yeah, I'm happier towards doing the assembly. Not 100%, but getting there a lot more than I was a few weeks back. Come on, Pierre. We say bonjour again just to make him smile. Bonjour, Pierre. Bonjour, les enfants. He's very, sh he's very shy. Come on, Pierre. You promised to do this. Pierre's going to teach you a song. Frère Jacques. Frère Jacques. Oh, he's really smiling now. He's getting really happy. Dorme vous. Oh, really, really pleased. Well, assembly this morning was absolutely brilliant. Really nice atmosphere. Children were buzzing and really into it and enthusiastic about it. Um, really proud of where my class sung, and I was quite amazed about how the whole school could sing Frere Jacca so well. Sauna Hall, it's been a real nice ending to the start of teaching of French. I have been surprised how much I've enjoyed teaching it. It wasn't as daunting as I first said it would be. Um, I think we put that down to the way we've decided to teach French in a more fun, drip-feed way rather than a, uh, a set specific French lesson. It makes teaching a lot easier when you get a good response from children, and the children have really responded to the way we've taught French. Um, and may even inspire me to learn it myself in the future. Can anybody tell me what goodbye is in French? Shh, what's goodbye in French? Jenna. Au revoir. Au revoir, that's right. 